Hey there. You the one Queen Morea bought passage for to Sentinel? All right. I'm just glad you didn't bring along a chest full of luggage. We got to row out to the posset in this little dinghy here. Real glamorous, eh? As long as you don't mind rowing. Captain Mark already let me do all the rowing on the way in. Such a gentleman. Yeah, I wouldn't expect any rowing from him. We're ready whenever you are. Just say the word and we'll push off. The captain's convinced we still haven't shaken that string of bad luck that started back in Stormhaven. That's a load of dung, though. We got a new crew and a new ship, the Dawn Posset. What more does he want? Beats the oblivion out of me. I don't know. He came into a pretty good-sized pile of coin not long after we saw you in Wayrest. Bought all kinds of cargo with it. Legitimate cargo. Things he's hoping to sell at other ports. We haven't sold anything yet, though. Then let's get the Oblivion out of here. Come on, Captain. It's your turn to row. All right, you lovers. Time to cast off. If you want to lose 10 pounds of ugly fat, I'd be happy to chop off your head. This is just... <laughs> 
Worry not for us, my friend. This ship will not fall while we guard it. Someone needs to deal with whatever's happened on these docks. And you're the one I'd trust to do it. Get out there. We'll be fine. I'll have bandages ready in case anyone is wounded. Well, we're here all right, but I'm not sure I'm going to be getting off the boat. In fact, I say we just put right back out to sea. Oh, you bet your arse there is. Queen Morea's messenger said she had heard rumors, and I guess they were true, or something. Go talk to Captain Mark. He actually walked a little ways down the dock. Better he tells you about it himself. Well, oh, you bet your... Zombies. Wards of the damned things. I have the ship security well in hand. You'd do best to deal with the dead on these docks. All the ports in Tamriel. Why this one? I sailed all the way across the Iliac Bay, and I need a glass of grog. I shared a drink with some unsavory characters, but I draw the line at zombies. I think I'll stay off the docks for now. You can't smell their soggy, rotting flesh? Just walk down the causeway there, you'll see them. Damned army of them. Question is, why aren't the Sentinel Guards doing anything? Nah. I've seen a few of the bootless louts skulking around, behind crates and such. Someone needs to go grab one of the guards and ask what in oblivion's going on here. You up for it? There you go. Give the guards a kick and tell them to get to work. I've got cargo to unload. If the guards can't help us, look for the dockmaster. Maybe he's got half a brain. Unless the zombies have eaten it, of course. How do you think I make a living? I buy there, sell here. It's what I do. All legitimate, of course. Picked up a load of timber and way rest. It'll sell for a pile of coin here. Better. As if this day hadn't gone to oblivion already. You feel the need to remind me of all my debt? Yes, I still owe Sarashi. The Don Posset is a quality ship. It'll take time to pay her off. Lambor, either. You deal with those docks. We'll deal with things here. It's like Betnik all over again, isn't it? Like Karzog's demise. At least this time they aren't eating our souls. I'll protect the ship and Captain Mark. None of these dead men are getting past me. Get out there and deal with it. Do what you do best. Too many. I can't take it. You might want to get back on your boat, Seafarer. The dead are crawling from the sea, and they have overtaken the docks. There is nothing to be done. 
We just have to pray to Tuwaka that they wander away. Zombies? Oh, such a crude term. These Ranetu are the remains of sailors who shipwrecked off the coast. We respect our dead here in the Alakir Desert. Even those who died at sea are honored ancestors. We do not fight them. We would be cursed. No. You are an outsider. These are not your ancestors. And as such, there is no dishonor in striking them down. No curse. Oh, but the fact that the dead have risen at all... It is terrible. We have strict laws. This should not happen here. I do not know. And I fear we have only made the situation worse. We thought we could contain them. We built barricades and tried to herd them away, but it was to no avail. Now I fear we are in even greater danger. My fellow guards will not strike the Ranatu either. Jessmine, Pierjean, and Emidal. I fear for their lives. Please find them and send them away. Then meet at the warehouse. The Dark Master hides there, and he may know the cause of all this. Please, no, go away. They're going to find me. I don't want to die. No, none of us are. The Ranitu are going to kill us all. It is not fair. I am too young to die. I just want to run, to run away.
more was mercy. What have I done? I was just trying to defend myself, and now I have committed the greatest dishonor and brought a curse down upon my family. This Ronetu caught me. He was trying to bite me, to eat me. I tried to fend him off, but he jerked, and his head ran against my blade. It wasn't my fault. What am I going to do now? But what about stopping this Ronetu from getting into the city? What about the other guards? I cannot simply abandon them. Can I? Great Ruptka, if this be not your will, send me a sign. Wait. Who are you? What are you doing here? Blood and honor. I have always had faith, but never have I... You are here to fight the Ronetu? Praise Ruptka. I was prepared to dishonor myself, but he sent you. I will go then. Gods be with you, my friend. Is the way clear?
Finally, someone who's not afraid to do the dirty work. Someone to clean up my docks. I watched you from the window until I heard those necromancers downstairs. But I thought Mujad was coming here too. Did you see him? Damn. The poor bastard. I told them. I told the guards that they were going to have to fight back. It is one thing to be superstitious. But when the Ranetu are attacking the city, it's time to put the superstitions aside. No, we're not all so hung up on our beliefs. Can't ignore the tradition, though. Not unless we want fruit thrown at us, or worse. Regardless, right now I'm just glad Taba's winds guided you here. Someone to get the Ranetu off the damn docks. I do. I overheard the necromancers. Their leader is calling the dead from the sea with some kind of dark ritual. If you can disrupt the ritual, the dead should... Well, they should drop dead. Or at least stop crawling out of the water. That I do not know. I heard them mention the warehouse at the west end of the docks. Maybe the ritual is there. Wherever it is, you have to stop it. Then tell Captain Safira. Taba be with you.
Then rise again to serve me. The raw net you have returned to the sea. The docks will soon smell of dead fish again instead of dead people. And you, ride off the boat, and you slay the necromancer? Surely Tuwaka sent you to deliver us from this difficult situation. I am too. It has been many years since the plague of necromancy visited our shores. Though I am relieved the docks are clear, the events of this day are extremely disturbing. I wonder if you know how completely we are in your debt. Alakir warriors fear no evil, but they will not fight the undead. It may be a superstition, but it has been tradition for centuries. I could not have convinced my guards to break it today. I'm afraid not. There was just no easy solution. Perhaps to call everyone inside the castle and lock the doors? King Faharajad would not have liked that. Of course, the king will be extremely disturbed to hear what has befallen her regardless. I did not want to send word to the king until I was certain necromancy was involved. Now, though, he should be informed right away. I must stay here and oversee the cleanup. You are the one who turned the tide here. Will you inform the king as well? Thank you, Seafarer. It is better if I remain here to supervise as best I can. But I know the king would want to be informed of what has befallen us as soon as possible. The dead are sacred. It is what the people of Alakir have always believed and always will. Just as we respect our elders, so do we respect our ancestors. It would be dishonorable to strike them, and might even cause one to be cursed. These dark arts are not practiced by our people, but yes, we have experienced the plague of necromancy in the past. Fighting these plagues has always required great sacrifice. Those who have fought the dead have been dishonored, cast out. Most people here deem them to be sacred law, not superstition. Even King Faharajad must respect our customs. 
If he were to ask his people to disrespect their ancestors, his rule would swiftly come to an end. Heard what you did at the Atatura estate. Tava bless you. To walk us breath. How could we have left so many bodies beneath the waves for this long? Had we cared for our honored dead properly and buried them, none of this would have happened. Hello. The dry skins both sink, and suddenly I am everyone's friend. Hail. Fish aren't biting. I'm afraid they might never bite again. My wife. She didn't even like fishing, but I bullied her into it. I thought it would make for a fine afternoon. I'll never forgive myself. Greetings. Greetings, Wayfarer. I'm sorry, but I have nothing to sell. I'm just packing up my sister's things. I don't know what to say. She... well... she didn't make it home. I thank you. I hear you were the one who drove off the Ranetu. I know it's blasphemy, but I wish you'd slain more of them. My Danya didn't deserve this. Help me get back on my feet. I'm leaving. I can never fish here again. This has ruined it. My stock is probably ruined. Yes, spoiled from the sun and... Well, I hate to speak ill of Ronetu. Blessings upon them. But they did some minor damage as well. I had more reagents on a boat in the harbor. But it sunk. I will need far more than luck. But I thank you all the same. That woman is incredible. She saved my life. Dead man popped up behind me out of the water. I didn't see him. He would have ripped my throat out if Lambour hadn't speared him, lifted him right up and tossed him back in the sea. Luck's got nothing to do with it. I'm alive because I've got Malakath's daughter at my back. Now I owe her another dinner. Fopping cheats. I just let a full cargo hold of timber go for half its value. I don't like the way these Red Guards negotiate. I'll never get square with Sarashi at this rate. You did it. You always do. You have my thanks. Secure the Dawn Posset. Protect her captain. 
Sentinel is not a place to leave your ship unattended, especially after the docks have been attacked. This is my ship, my crew. I won't let anything happen to them. Don't even think about it. If you try to pick me up and give me a kiss, I'll bite your nose off. <laughs> I may look like a monkey, but I'm not a monkey, and I'm done being treated this way. <laughs> I'm an orc. Don't laugh. It's true. <laughs> I just got cheated by this damn Bandari potion maker. She sold me a potion that turned me into this. A puny little... Monkey. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Listen, you have to help me. You have to find that wench and make her change me back. <laughs> it was the Khajiit potion maker, Nishi. She's in the tavern. Please, you have to. <laughs> What is your dream? You want to be stronger, smarter, faster? For the right price, Unishi will make your dreams come true. Not again. Tell me he doesn't want a refund. Why do so many ask, and then when Unishi gives, they change their minds? In a manner of speaking, yes. 
He complained about feeling like an outcast here in Sentinel. He wanted to be faster and nimbler and to feel like he fit in. What does that sound like? It sounds like a monkey to Unishi. This is not fair. Ingredients cost money. Unishi cannot afford to give away free potions. How about this? You want to help the monkey? You help Unishi and she will do what you ask. Unishi has just finished preparing two potions for other buyers in town. Deliver them, and we have a deal. One goes to a woman named Daria, and the other to a man named Erwad. This one will mark their houses on your map. Make it easy for you. Shores, bones. Look what the jackals dragged in. <laughs> I'm just yanking your hair with horns. What do you have? Stout folk. Stiff-backed, of course, but good-hearted. They weren't thrilled about me buying this place at first, but they got over it when they tasted my mead. They don't laugh as much or as loud as Nords, but... They don't fight as much, either. If you're talking about the docks, not much. I've heard they walk funny. Sort of bow-legged, like an elf just out of the saddle. <laughs> we shouldn't talk too loud, though. The locals don't take kindly to folks speaking ill of their dead grandpas. What do we have here? A legend among heroes. You're looking good. I'm celebrating. Talonel and I just signed a contract for a new ship. The Maiden Sigh. <laughs> I'll have the wind in my hair on the deck of my own ship. We're going to be a crew again. Don't think I haven't heard about your exploits. Hmm? Rumors abound. You've toppled Daedric princes, defeated armies, saved more people than I can count. One day soon I'll be saying, I knew you when. Just like you did back on Stros Mackay. Oh, that was a fun time, wasn't it? I'm glad you're here. I really am. Have one last drink with me. Once my ship is back on the open sea, I don't know when I'll be back. Adorable. He'd almost have me convinced if there wasn't a line of women from here to Bankarai who heard the same promises. Oh, it's the chase that drives him. He loves it. So long as he's enjoying that, why spoil it for him? Oh, I'm not the settling type. But if I make port five years from now and he's still pining, I might just consider it. <laughs> Come to think of it, that would be a nice way to celebrate. I'm celebrating. Talonel and I just signed a contract for a new ship. The Maiden Sigh. <laughs> My friend! How good to see you here! Have a drink with us! Help us celebrate! Talonel worked his magic! We have our own ship! We're a crew again! Soon we'll be back on the sea! I hope he still has a few bottles of the 74 in here. This year's batch was shamefully harsh. Quite undrinkable. You look dry. Wash the sand down with a pint? Huh? Thank the Eighth for imported mead. Little taste of home overseas, yeah? <laughs> How do these red guards stay cool while wearing so much fabric? <laughs> My heart 
is happy. Hail. Hello. Where is she? I bet that damned cat swindled me. I should have trusted my mother. Magic is no good. It's about time. Hand it over. She promised me my hair would grow back, and that I would have hundreds of children. This better work. Don't tell me what to do, peon. You're just jealous. I already paid Unishi for it. Now hand it over. I don't feel so good. What is this rat doing in here? Get no. out, you Stop. damn thing. How dare you! You're not getting away that easily. I'm not exactly known for my patience. Can't you see I'm reading here? Please leave me in peace. Your belly growls like a dune ripper. You should sit and abide for a while. Even the mightiest heroes have to eat.
You are undaunted. This one is glad to see a new member. She has nearly run out of bodies to climb over in her glorious rise to the top. You will help twice lucky with this, yes? Magnifico Jalid has been most uncooperative. It's the only way this one's victims ever survive. If they elude her once, she calls them lucky and sharpens her claws for the next dance. But should they be twice lucky and escape her claws once again, this one will relent and let them go free. My husband was supposed to meet me here for a drink after work. A few glasses of wine, some Red Guard poetry. I suspect I chose the wrong tavern, or the wrong husband. I am a hard worker. Please. I just need a few coins to get back on my feet. for Doria. She's right back there. Tell her no more excuses. I am ready to eat my biscuits. What is it? My husband has just returned home from the tavern. He is very hungry. If I don't prepare his dinner quickly, well, I simply do not have time to chat right now. Oh, pray, Zet. I've waited so long. I asked Unishi to make me a potion that will make my husband kind and loyal. I hope it works. Oh, yes. Unishi told me exactly what to expect, and I think it's going to be wonderful. Where is my meal, woman? Coming right away, dear. I hope this works. It's about time. This better be good. This tastes different than usual. What? What have you done to me? You witch! Quiet down, Farhad, and sit there. Good dog. From now on, if you want a biscuit, we are going to have some new rules. I have a feeling I'm not going to like this. Unishi is pleased to see you again. You have made the deliveries to this one's clients, yes?
Unishi gives people what they want and nothing more. You have done the same for me. So here, take these to that silly monkey. It will return him to the miserable existence he had before. I don't worry about the future. It'll be here soon enough. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 am I ever glad to see you again. Do you have a banana? I, I mean, do you have a potion to change me back? Nethers, it sure will feel good to be myself again. Last time I ever do business with a Fandari. <laughs> ah, free. <laughs> Meet me at the tavern. I'll buy you a drink. What hope is there? I'm busy, very busy. Greetings. With all respect, your majesty, this proves our suspicions were well-founded. You should have heeded my father's warning. It is not the place of the dishonor to correct a king, Ashaba. You are dismissed. I meant no disrespect, your majesty, only that you know where to find us. I will take my leave. Well met, champion. Your deeds on the docks have done the city a service. You take a great risk in striking the Ranitu, but perhaps Tuwaka's curse does not extend to the outsiders. Bah! It's a matter for priests. Yes, Tuwaka, the caretaker of souls. He does not look kindly on those who would strike his honored children. At least, this is what I was taught. In such times, even my faith is shaken. I do not dispute this. I only hope for your sake that the tricky god feels the same. You have the king's gratitude, Wayfarer. News of your exploits has reached the throne. While we cannot publicly condone violence against our honored dead, the fact remains that you have made the city safe, at least for the moment. Of a certainty, King Faharajat, blessings of Rutka be upon him, is king of Hammerfell and rules over the Alakir and many points beyond. This is his center of power and the forebears. Indeed, our realm is diverse. The forebears are progressives who firmly support the covenant. Their counterparts are the crowns, traditionalists who cling to the ways of lost Yokuda and reject the practices of Tamriel. Do not concern yourself. The king's rulership over these lands and its people is firm as stone, among crown and forebear alike. King Faharajad, may Tava grant him eternal life, has made great contributions to the war effort. We Redguards are unparalleled in swordsmanship and grand strategy. 
Many of our most talented officers have already taken command of battalions overseas. Hello. If you have come to speak with the king, the gods smile upon you, for he is holding court. Do not presume to waste his time, though. He has urgent matters to deal with, and has no time for trifles. Welcome to Sentinel Wayfair. If you've come about the docks, rest assured I already know. I regret that you visit during such times. But perhaps your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps the gods guided you here to help us fight the Withered Hand. Necromancers, practitioners of the most vile magic and the bane of the Alakir Desert. It has been many years since we faced such a threat. I hope the rumors about this group, the Withered Hand, were untrue. But today's events prove otherwise. Several years ago, a diabolical necromancer named Satura led an army of undead against me. Satura was defeated, but the rumors suggest his sons have returned for revenge. They are calling themselves the Withered Hand. Undoubtedly, but I suspect the attack at the docks was merely a feint. I fear the Withered Hand is planning something far worse. Ah, that is the challenge I now face. The people of the Alakir Desert, even those in Sentinel, are superstitious. They believe that striking the dead carries a terrible curse. For them, it is an act of dishonor. That is why I need you, Wayfarer. Then your visit is fortuitous indeed. My own son, Prince Azar, has been investigating the rumors about the Withered Hand. He is a bright young man, but he needs help. First, though, I would ask you to inform General Thoda of what has befallen. Yes, that is likely. General Thoda is my chief military advisor. He is also a practical man, who places security above superstition. He is resting at his home after returning from al -Kir, but I need his counsel on how to proceed. General Thoda is a trusted advisor, and a good friend. He has heard the rumors about the Withered Hand, and he can help us. Tell no one else, though. People remember Satora, and hearing his sons have returned could cause a panic. It's quite a tale, and I cannot do it justice now. But the battle against Satura was the most difficult of my life, both in military and political terms. It was the Ashaba who saved us. They had the thankless task of fighting the undead. The Ashaba. Where do I begin? They walk among us, but only in shadows. People believe they are cursed. They are dishonored warriors, bound by the sacred oath of their forefathers. They must fight the dead when called upon to do so. I have not called on them. I have even disregarded their warnings. You must understand. The common people despise them. To call on them again might cost me the crown. That is why I must rely on you, Wayfarer. Yes. The greatest threat the Alakir faced from the undead was in the First Era, when the Okudan rulers were still establishing a foothold here. That was when the Anse Wards were created. They are our greatest hope, for no matter how great a threat the Withered Hand may pose, they cannot even compare to the necromancers of the First Era. The wards contain the spirits of three Anse heroes who sacrificed themselves to protect us. 
They uphold the covenant with the divines. As long as we consecrate the dead in the name of Tuwaka, they cannot be raised by even the most powerful necromancy. Thus, the withered hand can only raise corpses that have not been consecrated. It is not an ancient Yokudan custom, but a tradition that developed in the desert. Human remains decay slowly here, and our people came to believe their ancestors' corpses were sacred. To harm one would draw the ancestors' curse. Of course. You see, the culture of the Alakir evolved around this ideal. Many of us today realize that exceptions must be made. But in my position, to ask my soldiers to strike down the dead would cause an outcry, and possibly lead to rebellion. The palace has been like a tomb since the news of trouble at the docks. I am sorry, Wayfarer. But I fear you may not receive much hospitality today. Someone has finally defeated that old crone, Mother Merc. Maybe the Hagfen will be safer now. My temper is short and my blade is long, so watch it. When I heard the commotion from the docks, I came here. There is no safer place than the house of the king. Is it not so? Have you come to speak to the forebear king? I have waited long and long, and he does not even lift his eyes. Such is the way of things for crowns and sentinel. Just move along. 